Guys, this is Mobin. We are talking about cardiovascular system embryology. The lecture today is the development of the inferior vena cava. A very fast lecture uh, and simple lecture. So here, let's look at the the blood vascular or venous system that is present in the embryo, and then see how it becomes inferior vena cava. So, so to look at it, this is the sinus venosus. Remember, the sinus venosus above that is the primitive atria primitive atria, then above that are the primitive ventricles, bulbous cordus, truncus arteriosus, and then the outflow tracts. So the, that is the heart tube. On, on each side, there are the cardinal veins. So these are anterior cardinal veins. These are, these blue ones are the posterior cardinal veins. So it is written here, posterior cardinal and anterior cardinal. Where both the cardinals combine, that becomes the common cardinal. This is the common cardinal. And we have discussed it, so let's say this is the right side, this is the left side. We have discussed this in the past, that the common cardinal on the right side becomes the superior vena cava, or becomes part of the superior vena cava. Second thing that we have also discussed is, in an, another lecture, I'll repeat it here, is that what happens in the embryo is that the blood blood returning to the heart starts shifting towards the right from the left. So there are shunts that develop, there are anastomoses that develop that move the blood from the left side towards the right side. And due to that, the blood vessels on the right side start becoming maturer and bigger. That is what happens to sinus venosis as well. The right side becomes bigger and grows and becomes part of the right ventricle, while the left side becomes shrunken because the blood supply coming into the sinus venosis left horn really becomes reduced because the umbilical vein, which is here, the umbilical vein, the vital line vein, and this posterior cardinal, they all degenerate. So just remember this much that because of the shunts from left to right and because the flow increases on the right side, the right side becomes more important and more bigger and more developed and the left side starts shrinking and degenerating. So now the structures here, posterior cardinals, these blue ones, down here they anastomose and they also create the iliac veins. So down here, these are iliac or iliac veins, and this is the anastomosis of that. In the middle here, what you're seeing are the subcardinal veins. These veins are very important. So three set of veins, the anterior posterior cardinal, that is one, then the subcardinal, that is two, and here if you see the green ones that would develop a little later are the supracardinal, that is the third set these three sets would actually contribute to the formation of the inferior vena cava. So here you are seeing that the subcardinal veins have developed. These veins have an anastomosis in the center. Here, this is the subcardinal, subcardinal vein anastomosis. And then if you see here, these veins are also connecting to the posterior cardinal, and here is an important one, mesonephros of the early kidney. Why? Because we would see that there are parts of that that become part of inferior vena cava. So this is the structure that we have. Now, the changes to this structure, as you would see here, if we come to this diagram, the only additional piece in this diagram is primarily the supracardinal vein is drawn. Now, what are the other changes that we are seeing? Number one, we are seeing that the sinus venosus and this shunt is gone. What will happen later on is that as this part degenerates for the posterior cardinal, the anterior cardinal and the common cardinal, they will become the brachiocephalic. This would become the brachiocephalic, brachiocephalic and subclavian, subclavian, left subclavian, and they would be draining into the superior vena cava. So this side will develop into the superior vena cava. Of course, we'll have jugulars develop on both sides. So this is the internal jugular, this is external jugular, and this will become the superior vena cava, superior vena cava. So again, if you see, superior vena cava is actually the vital line on the right side. Umbilical on the right side degenerates, on the left side, umbilical and vital line both degenerate. 
so this is the vital line this is umbilical so this would degenerate this would degenerate this will degenerate and common cardinal that is this plus the vital line on the right side would become part of the superior vena cava that is here now below these if i also make one more structure that will be the liver somewhere over here and liver will have hepatic veins as well so if you see here the subcardinal has separated from the anterior uh, sorry from the posterior cardinals and the hepatic part or hepatic veins have joined here as well so that is hepatic hepatic vein so that has joined as well so that would make the initial part of the uh, inferior vena cava now the supra cardinal that has appeared what is important for the development of inferior vena cava to remember is this anastomosis so this is the supra and sub cardinal anastomosis so this will be i'll write it here here supra that is this green one and sub that is this red one supra sub cardinal anastomosis anastomosis that is this anastomosis and that is this anastomosis these two are important because they will one they'll become part of the inferior vena cava and then they would give rise to the renal and spermatic uh, veins now as you're seeing here the posterior cardinal has become separated from the right side so the right side areas are now veins are now degenerating so this shunt is gone and now what's happening is that the posterior cardinal is only left with this mesonephric shunt that is where it is attaching with the sub cardinal that is what you're seeing here now you're also seeing see these little buds here these tiny buds coming out of the sub cardinal these are the future um, spermatic or ovarian veins now at the end of the day what happens is this posterior cardinal would degenerate as well let's see what structures are now formed this is the hepatic part of the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava hepatic part it came from the liver sinusoid and the hepatic vein it also has a contribution from this sinus venosus then the second part of the inferior vena cava is this this one this is called pre renal part pre renal part and this is coming from the sub cardinal so i'll write it here sub cardinal which sub cardinal primarily right sub cardinal so i'll put that here right sub cardinal if you come down here the inferior vena cava so this area here these are supra renals this is right supra renal and this is the left suprarenal so suprarenals are also developing from the subcardinals if you come down a little bit you see this anastomosis here which is the anastomosis between the subcardinal and supracardinal this anastomosis itself on the right side becomes part of the inferior vena cava and this will be called i've shaded it black here this will be called the renal segment of the inferior vena cava on the right side on the left side if you see it got incorporated into the into this area and that area then shunted into the right side so you are seeing here these the, this vessel so this is the renal renal on the left side this is renal on the right side right renal then what is this red one this is the spermatic or ovarian spermatic or ovarian depending upon the gender veins so again if you see on the left side it became part of the renal and on the right side it is directly draining into the uh, inferior vena cava then below that below the renal segment we've gotten the 
post renal segment so this is after the kidney so post renal segment of the ivc and why where is this why is it green where is it coming from it is coming from the from the supracardinals so supracardinals are contributing the post renal segment the renal segment is contributed by the right side anastomosis between the supra and subcardinal and the renal pre renal is by the subcardinal and the most superior part is sinus venosis liver sinusoids plus hepatic vein and down here of course is the iliac anastomosis and the iliac structure so that is the development of inferior vena cava thank you very much <laughs>